Hello, hello and welcome to a new video. Last week I was showing you how I managed to take this photo, which <laughs> it still uh, cracks me up a bit because it's really looking like a stingray. Today I want to take you behind the scenes a bit and show you how I managed to uh, do the settings in the camera to focus bracket. And at the same time, um, I will take this photo and edit it in Photoshop and in Affinity Photo. So if you want to learn how to do it, stay tuned. Right, so with this shot, I tried to do a focus bracketing straight off the camera. So let me show you what I've done. So I went into focus bracketing here. Basically, I pressed Q, go to focus bracketing, enable the focus bracketing, number of shots, five, focus increment. Let's put increment of four, and that's it. Try to focus here and just take the shot. And now what it did basically took like five photos uh, with an increment of focusing. So it's moving the focus. In order to do that, you need to have your lens on autofocus and make the adjustments here. I used in the end f11, ISO 100 and 0.3 seconds. So if we jump back into Lightroom, these are the five shots that the camera took. So if we go to the first one, you can see how the, um, the focusing is moving. Right, so let's start with Adobe Photoshop. Unfortunately, Lightroom doesn't have this option of stacking the images. So what we need to do is select all of them, right click, edit in, open as layers in Photoshop. So now we are opening all the images as layers. And I think it's done. It's pretty fast to be honest. It's, it's going to take a while if you have like, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 images, but for five is just perfect. And then the only thing that you can do is select them. So holding shift, click the first and the last layer, and then going to edit out of blend layers, stack images and hit OK. What this did, it created some masks. So if I undo this, you can see what it selected. Creating the best layers. And if we do like pixel peeping, it did a really good job. And you can see here, there are so many elements in this image. Look, a tiny leaf here. Some holes from the woodworms. Really, really nice image. I really like the, the colors. I like the texture as well. And of course, <laughs> my favorite, the stingray face. And from here, you take your merged image and you start editing. Right, so let's jump into Affinity and see what uh, what Affinity can do. And then we make a comparison between those two. So I open Affinity. I'm using Affinity Photo 2. So the way you do focus merging is File, New Focus Merge, Add, Select all your images, doesn't matter if it's a RAW image or JPEG. These are the images and hit OK. And let's see what it does. To be honest, the visuals for Affinity they're way better. It shows what they're doing. 
Ah, oh, good coffee. And now we have the final image. These are the sources where you can add more sources or you can remove sources. Let's say you have an image which, I don't know for which reason, you don't like it or, I don't know, a fly flew by while taking a photo, you can remove it from here. And I'm happy with this. Let's close it. Go to 100%. Let's look a bit at the image. And again, it looks very well. Let's look at the leaf. There is a leaf on the corner here. Where is that? Here. Looks very good. Let me import the image from Photoshop and have a side-by-side -side comparison. Right, so on the left side we have the Photoshop image exported without any adjustments, without any color correction, nothing is just how it ended up from focus stacking. And on the right side we have Affinity Photo, the same thing, just focus merge and that's it. So let's go and have a 100% view side by side. But before we do that, one thing it jumps is that the Photoshop image is a bit more colorful. The saturation of the colors are a bit more vibrant, but I think this can be easily resolved with the Affinity uh, file as well. But that's just one minor. And I think it's just because maybe the color profile that um, Photoshop uses is a bit different from Affinity Photo. Now, looking at this, to be honest, Photoshop did a better version. It's a bit more sharp. So, looking at it, it has more details, to be honest. Where Affinity is a bit flat. Which is surprising. But it didn't do a bad job. So Affinity is really, really there. So looking at this here. Yeah, Photoshop has a bit more detail into it. The color is the same. But Affinity did a good job as well. It's nothing that you cannot, you know, edit afterwards. Looking at this. Yeah, Photoshop did a better job, but right, so we can go to the affinity one, go to clarity and add a bit more clarity into it. But uh, you can see that this is, you know, stretching a bit. Right, so let's go back. Comparison, we have Photoshop and affinity, right. So now you can see that affinity looks good as well so it's just a bit of you know fiddling afterwards but it's it's not that bad it's not that bad let's see the leaf here the leaf looks really nice so i think both of them made a really good job with the affinity file where you need to tweak it a bit but uh what i can say but i'm really really happy um again photoshop did a very good job right out the box you can see here that there is a bit of hair and both of the exports highlights it so it's really good now to be honest i prefer the affinity one it has really nice crisp edges so i think we can close the video today this is how you focus stack and um, focus bracket using a Canon camera. I think all of the cameras now have this ability to uh, adjust the focus bracketing on your camera so you can take multiple shots with different focus planes. So yeah, just look in your manual and uh, see if you have that option and how to work with it. And that's it for today. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more photography and editing tutorials. If you got any questions or suggestions, please drop them in the comments below. 
I really would love to hear from you. Also, make sure to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy editing!